so good morning again and uh, in this class so we have some discussion about the endocrine secretion endocrine secretions happening inside the insect a gland or cell or tissue which is secreting some kind of chemicals secreting some kind of chemical synthesizing and releasing secreting some kind of chemicals inside the body it means these chemicals should go around the body cavity dissolved in hemolymph so that these chemical messengers a coordinating chemical messengers we call them as a coordinating chemical messengers they are nothing but hormones the hormones released by a gland or cell or tissue are released inside the body and they are spread and they are carried to other organs where it needs to act upon so this endocrine system is also called as a hormonal system let us see what are all the important hormones as far as the insects are concerned how how they are being released where from they are released and how they are acting and what is their purpose like any other organism even the insects the hormones which are being released by the glands or cells or tissues they have very very important role in maintaining the balance within the insect that is called homeostasis these hormones also regulate the growth the hormones also regulate the development the hormones also have a lot of very very extremely important role as far as the metamorphosis is concerned and the hormones also play a very important role in polymorphism hormones also play a very important role in diapause hormones also play a very very important role as far as the reproductive system is concerned so it means these secretions happening inside the body from a gland or tissue they have an extremely important role and they are the very very important constituents very very important constituents and that we call them as hormones hormones are nothing but chemical messengers if you remember correctly once when we are discussing about the egg diesis process i told you that there is a hormone which comes and act on the epidermal cells and immediately epidermal cells gets activated they started producing the layers new layers that's how the hormones play a very very important role there are few important hormones we need to learn in this class the sources of these hormones as far as the insects are concerned the sources of these hormones can be the cells can be the glands so secretory cells are secretory glands so in the insects the secretory cells we call them as a neuro secretory cells remember it means the hormonal system the endocrine system is a complementary system to the nervous system nerve cells there are very very special nerve cells they are also engaged in secretion of some of the very very important chemical compounds which we call them as a chemical messengers chemical messengers are also called as a hormones so there are two sources as far as the hormonal secretion is concerned internal hormonal secretion is concerned that's what is called endocrine secretion source number 1 is cells source number 2 is glands so as far as the neuro secretory cells the cells which actually secrete some kind of hormone a chemical messenger it is as simple as like this like when you call neuro secretory cells they are the basically nerve cells engaged in secretion 
But where they are located? They are actually located on the brain. They are the very, very important, but we call them as a lateral neurosecretory cells and median neurosecretory cells, which are actually located in the cell, brain. And few neurosecretory cells are also located in the ganglion. And there are very important glands, very, very special glands, which actually have a character of secretion, the chemical messenger, the hormonal production, are some are also engaged in transfer of these hormones. So these glands are carpora cardiaca, carpora elata, then the prothoracic glands, then the ring glands. We will have a discussion further on this. The neurosecretory cells, they are the nerve cells, the modified nerve cells for the secretory purposes. And they have a cytological evidence as for the secretion. All these secretions are granular. In fact, I did some work on neurosecretory cells. You can as well stain them. They are granular. The secretions are granular. It means the secretions, the granules, the chemicals which are produced by the nerve cell proto prokaryon are, has to be passed through the axon to pass on to the next level. So neurosecretory cells are nothing but motor neurons. They have a cytological evidence as far as the secretion is concerned. And the secretions are granular and the secretions are passed through the axon. So let us see where these neurosecretory cells are located in this picture. You see this picture here. You can clearly identify the neurosecretory cells. There are median neurosecretory cells and also lateral neurosecretory cells. And these neurosecretory cells are nothing but the modified motor neurons. And you also see the axons, the long axons. It means these secretions of the neurosecretory cells will be passed to the next level or next glands. It can be a corpora cardiacum or it can be a corpora elator. The secretions are not released openly into the hemolymphatic membrane. The secretions from these specialized nerve cells Neurosecretory cells are not released directly to the, the hemolymph, but the secretions will be carried through the axons and passed to the other glands where it needs to get effect. And let us go into the neurosecretory glands. I told you four glands, carpora cardiaca, carpora elata, prothoracic glands and the ring gland. Carpora cardiaca. And you see here in this picture with yellow painting, yellow color, the neurosecretory cells, the neurosecretory cells are nothing but nerve cell. These nerve cells, the prokaryon, the cell, so this, this is the place where the nucleus lies, and this is the place where the secretions happen. And the secretions will go through the axon. They have a very, very long axons. Whether it's a median neurosecretory cells or the lateral neurosecretory cells. And these axons are going through the carpora cardiaca. The first gland is called carpora cardiaca. And these nerve endings from the neurosecretory cells are passing through the carpora cardiac. Are passing through the, they are not actually ending at the carpora cardiac, they are passing through the carpora cardiac. It's a very, very small gland. And this is the place where the neurohormones are stored for some time. Because it's a neuro hormonal storage organ, that's called neurohemal organ. 
the duty of the corpora cardiaca is not just the storage of the hormones but also the cells within the corpora cardiaca they also produce some kind of hormones which are concerned with the heartbeat regulation and other physiological processes remember the corpora cardiaca is a storage organ it means the nerve axons from the neurosecretory cells are passed through the corpora cardiaca and these nerve secretions are stored for some times in the corpora cardiaca to get released to the corpora elliot at the next gland besides the storage of these neurohormones from the neurosecretory cells the corpora cardiaca epithelial cells are also engaged in secretions and these secretions have a wonderful very important role as far as the heartbeat management let us go to the second one that's called corpora elliot the corpora elliot also the second gland the corpora elliot is the second gland and this gland is connected with the corpora cardiaca and all these nerve endings from the neurosecretory cells are ending at the corpora elliot the nerve endings from the neurosecretory cells are terminated at the corpora elliot it means all these neurosecretions from the neurosecretory cells are actually being released in the corpora elliot very important the corpora elliot is the very very important organs which produce a very special hormone called juvenile hormone juvenile hormone is one of the very extremely important hormone for the maintenance of the body processes for keeping the same in store for some time for not allowing for the molting and also jh has a very important role in the oocyte development juvenile hormone is the another hormone the first hormone we have seen the brain hormone the brain hormone which is released by the neurosecretory cells brain hormone is also called as a pro thoracotrophic hormone so the brain hormone are the pro thoracotrophic hormone which is secreted by the neurosecretory cells is being released into the corpora elliot but otherwise the corpora elliot also secretes some enzyme called juvenile hormone which is extremely important and the third gland is prothoracic gland the prothoracic glands a pair of glands they have a very very lot of important activity of producing the agdesor or the mounting hormone that is the reason because it requires lot of activity of generation or synthesis of agdesor the prothoracic glands are richly supplied with the trachea because it has a lot of metabolic activity the brain hormone are the pro thoracotrophy tth which is released which is synthesized in the neurosecretory cells of the brain pass through the axon into the corpora elliot from where the brain hormone and pth is released from the corpora elliot that pth or brain hormone which is dissolved in the blood will go and work on the pro thoracic gland because of the action of the brain hormone the pro thoracic gland synthesized and released a very special hormone called agdesor agdesor is extremely important for the molting process agdesor goes through the blood and work on the epidermal cells of the integument for the production of the new skin so there are three important gland the fourth one is ring gland ring gland is nothing but actually in some of these dipterans 
all these glands together they form a unified gland called ring gland there is nothing special so as far as the neural secretions are concerned now we understood the insects have got a hormonal system many number of hormones actually in fact now we had discussed only about the four hormones but otherwise there are many number of hormones but the most important to remember is neurosecretory cells and the neurosecretory glands the neurosecretory cells are located in the brain they are nothing but a modified nerve cells they are nothing but a modified motor neurons and the secretions are granular a big size the secretions are passed through the axon to the effector organs and the glands as far as the glands are concerned the corpora cardiaca corpora alerta and prothoracic glands so this is what so with this we complete today's discussion and you just go through the notes and the notes have all the information